Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are all well. Today I am showing you how I did this soft dolly makeup look. If you have me on Instagram, you would have seen that I posted a photo over there. Um, if you want to see how I got that look, then just keep watching. So I've been waiting ages to try this. This is the Nivea um, Post Shave Balm recommended by Nikki Tutorials. I've heard lots of mixed reviews on this. I've been using it for about two weeks. As you can see, I have a big sleepy head on me, so I'm just going to take my Yves Rocher um, Corrector Concealer and I'm going to take away some of the redness. I don't have any fake tan on my face, so I'm just going to go in with my um, MAC Studio Fix Fluid and I'm shade NC25. By the way, to apply my foundation, I use the Zoeva Buffer Brush. Um, it works so perfect with this foundation, with others as well, but especially this one. And for my brows, I'm gonna take my NYX Tame & Frame um, Brow Pomade. I'm shade Espresso, and I'm using my Fine Liner Brush by Zoeva. With this product, a little goes a long way, so you just start it with like one or two taps, and you just work your way through, starting at the area where you want it to be darkest first. Then I just go in and set my brows with my Rimmel brow this way. I'm going to take a piece of sellotape and take the stickiness off on the back of my hand. I'm going to cut it into two pieces um, and place that onto my eye so when I do my eyeshadow it gives me a nice sharp effect. Now I'm going to take this large fluffy brush and I'm just going to put a transition color onto my lid. If you have a Primark near you, I got this brush for about 2 euro I think and they honestly work amazing especially for the price. Now I'm gonna take shade Blackberry by MAC and I'm going to take that same fluffy brush and I'm going to place that onto my lid and kind of fan it outwards towards the sellotape. Taking these two purpley shades, I'm gonna take my MAC 217 brush. Is this the 217? I think so. Anyway, and I'm going to put that onto the same area as the Blackberry shade. Now I'm going to take this concealer by the Makeup Collection in shade Fair and I'm just going to pop that into my inner corner to really make the contrast from the purple really pop. And now I will take shade Vapor by MAC and I will just place that on top of where I had just put the concealer. Then I'm just going to place a white shimmery eyeshadow um, onto my brow bone. Oh, and my inner corners as well I guess. <laughs> Now I'm going to take shade Embark by MAC and I'm just going to pencil that onto my outer V just to give that um, purpley bit uh, just a bit of definition. I'm going to peel that tape away and I'm going to take that same concealer by the Makeup Collection in shade Fair and I'm just going to highlight my face a bit with that. Blend bitch blend and then I am going to take the same concealer but in two shades darker and I'm just going to apply that in basically the same areas. Just going to take a bit more of that Embark shade and um, pencil it onto my lash line and connect it to the eyeshadow. Then taking Rimmel Exaggerate um, Matte Black Mascara, that's not mascara, it's eyeliner, and I'm going to give myself um, a winged liner with that. I'm going to take some MAC Prep and Prime and I'm going to set my under eyes with that and a little couple bits on my face as well. Taking these two shades from this contour palette, I'm going to contour my face. I always just take whatever's left on the brush and I just contour around my lips. It makes them just look a little bit more deep set and larger. The brush that I'm using is a double-ended stippling brush, which is also from Primark and this was €2.50. My absolute favorite blusher in the world is by MAC. It's called Desert Rose and I'm applying that to the apples of my cheeks. Taking this super pigmented white shimmery color that's in that same contour palette and I'm just going to pat that onto the tops of my cheeks. I'm going to take this Shimmer Brick by Seventeen Cosmetics and I'm just going to put that onto the cupid's bow of my lip and onto my nose as well. Again, I forgot about my inner corners, I actually placed it on there as well. I'm going to put on some mascara, again from Primark, probably between 1 to 3 euros for this mascara, I can't really remember, but it actually works really good especially if you're just using it for like under lashes. I'm going to take my um, duo dark tone eyelash adhesive and place on some falsies. By the way, if you're ever wondering where I get my false eyelashes, if they're not Ardell, which I usually will say, they are always just from eBay, whatever's cheapest. 
And I'm gonna take a bit more of that eyeliner and just kind of cover up any of the areas that got glue onto my eyelid. Taking this really nice pink lip liner that I got in Primark as well, 1 euro 50, have to always tell ya, just so you can catch the bargain. And I'm going to take um, Please Me by MAC and I'm gonna put that all over my lip. Now as you can see I'm just taking a bit of this light concealer and I'm going to dab that into the middle of my lips for a bit of an ombre effect. It also makes them appear larger as well. And that's the look finished there. Um, every time I do this look or something similar people always comment on it and say how much they like it so I figured I would make a video for it. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next time.